Hello, this is Gasham on at DeviantArt.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple animated looping background. What this tutorial won't do is show you how to draw a background, so I'm assuming you already know how to do that. You may have noticed that I have several named layers down the side. This is really important for the animation because before you even start to draw your background, you need to know what in the background is going to be animated. So basically, I have the backdrop, which is going to be static, the tree, and I'm planning to have those swaying slightly side to side, and I'm probably going to duplicate that, so I don't have to keep redrawing it. The, the mid grass, which is basically this bit here, that will be swaying slightly side to side. The posts, they won't be animated, but they have to be in front of the the mid grass here and the grass at the front. Now, as you can see, they're all broken up into layers. And what you need to do is hide each one that you don't want to export. So I'm going to start with exporting the sky. So what we do is file, save as, PNG. Well, you see that I've already saved them. And then just name it sky. Alright, that's done. And now you do the same with this one, and then the same with this one, this one, and that one. If you've got something that's smaller than your maximum document size, then crop it down to the size of the object you want to export. So now you go save as PNG. Make sure it's a transparent PNG because you want you want to see like the rest of the picture behind that and then just call that front grass save and then go back once you've exported them all you go into flash you can see here I've already done it but what you do is you go into flash and then you import all the things you just exported into separate layers. So you can see here, this one's the sky layer, that's the background layer, that's that sway grass, sway, swaying grass bit. You got the trees. You can see where I've duplicated them there. Um, oh, hang on got the character which I, did, I drew that, I animated that one in Flash, I didn't draw that in Photoshop. There's the post and there's the grass. Now what you want to do is animate it. So what we do is, let's start with this one. This is the grass that was at the front. This one here. So do is you convert that to a movie clip. So right right click on the object, convert to symbol, movie clip. I, I'm not going to convert it because I've already done it and I don't want it to be two movie clips in one. So name that grass. It's got to be, make sure it's a movie clip. And then once you've done that, double click it. What I've, what I've done here is I've added some frames and then tween them. So, right, let me do it again. So, remove frames. Ins insert frames. I only did about 20 because I only want it to move a little bit. And then, in ugh. create motion tween. Now, to animate this, all I did, this point, when you do it, will be in the middle. What you want to do is move it down to here so that when you skew it, it will skew around that point and then just move it down slightly and then go at the end and move it back. Now when you play it, it'll be swaying like that. See? Now when you move it back, you have to make sure that it's in line with the frame at the beginning because that's it's going to jump as it leaps. You, you don't want that, that's really annoying. 
So once you've done that, control enter it and see, looks pretty cool. And basically, that's what you do with everything and that you want to animate in the picture. I did the same for uh, the grass in the middle here. If you see, see it move? That's all that is, and then when you play that, well, you can't really see it. <laughs> Let's watch it on here. You can see it move side to side. Basically, this is just a way of getting around the bone tool in Flash, because the bone tool only lets you um, animate vector images. It doesn't let you animate bitmaps, and this is the only way I could figure out how to make it sway with the skew tool. Um, so the trees are the same, but I only made them move a little bit because trees don't usually tend to bend that much unless they're really thin. Um, and then once you've done animated the swaying parts of the bits that you want to move, then you just add in little extras, like for example here. I did a few birds flying across the screen. Watch. They'll come in about here. See? And then they come down, and then they go across. And that's pretty simple because, as you can see, I've got an, a layer for each bird. All I did for that was make one small animation. Zoom in of the bird flying see and then you come out there duplicate that so you've got three of them there you can do more if you want you don't have to have three and then I just tween them coming down and then they go across so when you play them they'll be animated and they'll be tweened across the screen And around here, I did a few flies flying around. Now, that that wasn't too hard. It's probably the easiest thing you can do on here. Just go in here. I just made five layers and just animated them following a random path. And then once I made that movie clip, I'll copy it so I've got loads of them around here. There's three here. And then when you play that, they'll be all flying around. And then I did a few more over here. Um, Okay, another thing, I mean, because this is a background tutorial, you, you don't need people in it unless that's what you're aiming for. But I'll just show you this quickly. This person, if you have a look, he's just got little tiny bits animated on him, like his hair. That's using, that's using a tween as well. Yeah, pretty much everything's using a tween on this. <laughs> And then the top bit of his hair and the bottom bit are separate because the bottom bit is what's being animated. So if you double click on there, that's just the tween of that bit being skewed, like the grass. And then this here, this is another bit like that, because that comes up even further than this bit. That's just that being tweened. So when you play it, The best thing to do would probably be to go to like the place that you're trying to draw and if you can't do that, like for example I can't really go to an African savannah, um, look at videos on YouTube and take note down all the things that make the scene alive. 
and then try to put it in your animation. Um, so basically all this is, is skewing different bits with a tween. It's pretty simple once you know how to do it. Um, there is, I've done it with this one here as well. This one's a little bit more complicated because I had to put a title on it. But if you look, the grass sways side to side. And there's the birds again. But all that is is a skew as well. So I hope that was helpful and until next time.